Okay guys, welcome back and I hope you guys did well uh, on yesterday's challenge. Today we're going to move a little bit further with the one that I showed you, our CBS core balance stability uh, type of exercises, hold positions again. Uh, one thing I want to make sure of is as we move from these positions that we're doing it slowly and once we get to that position, wherever it may be, that we can hold it for a few seconds as well. We're trying to get at least five seconds of a hold. Uh, before we move to the next um, part of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take what we did yesterday where we had our uh, swing trainer right out in front of us and today we're going to do the same drill but we're going to pick up one foot. So we're going to pick up, I'm going to pick up my right leg first and I'm going to do the exact same drills we did yesterday. I'm just going to hold this up for about a good 10 seconds, right? And from this point here, I'm just going to add, I'm going to go on my right leg right there and you can see it could be somewhat of a challenge at times but we're going to hold this for 10 seconds just like that all right and then we're going to shift again so that's one rep one leg up holding it out for 10 seconds and the other one up holding it out for 10 seconds once you do that that we're going to do 10 reps of that one for today's challenge and then we're going to take the same thing we're going to do the swing trainer we're going to go up and we're going to hold it, the um, your right leg up for five seconds then we're going to turn like we did yesterday for five seconds. And we're going to switch legs. Hold for five seconds. Turn for five seconds. And that's one rep. So we're going to do 10 reps of that. So just 10 reps of the one we're just on one leg holding, the opposite leg holding. And then we're going to switch over to where we're holding up one leg and we're going to make our shoulder turn. When we make the shoulder turn, hold it for five seconds and again, try to make sure that your core is facing straight ahead. You can see there's going to be some movement. There, there has to be. But if you, can, if you can maintain a little bit of a X factor where we're, where we're not turning our hips the same uh, way we're, we're doing our shoulders, if we can get a little bit of a separation there between our hips and our shoulders while doing this drill, well, it's going to help us dramatically as we move forward with our swing because we're going to see that in our swing itself when we do go to hit a golf ball. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you tomorrow.